Hello, everyone. My name is Ayu Sakai, and I'm from Nagoya City University in Japan. Today, I'll be presenting my research title, The Effect of Previewing Comprehension Question on Listening Test Performance, Insights from Japanese EFL Learners. This research explored how previewing comprehension questions affect English listening test performance among Japanese EFL learners. I'll start by reviewing the previous research. First one investigated the effect of previewing questions, repetition of input, and topic preparation on listening comprehension of Iranian EFL learners. In this study, short monologues were used and participants were divided into the previewing questions group, the topic preparation group, the repetition of input group, and the control group. As a result, the previewing question group scored higher than control group, but there was no significant difference. Next research was titled Factor Affecting Listening Performance on Multi-Choice Test, the Effect of STEM Option Preview and Text Characteristics. This study explored how four different formats, full preview, stem preview, option preview, and non preview affect performance on listening tests. Participants presented all formats. Materials used in this study were short dialogues. Results show that only significant difference was between the full preview and non preview format. In both previous research, they use short monologues or dialogues. However, I saw that long passage affect listening test performance much more than short one. So in my research, I conducted the experiment with long passage, which were about 360 word lengths. Next, research questions. Here are two research questions. One of them is, how previewing comprehension questions affect English listening test performance among Japanese EFL learners? The other is, do EFL learners concentrate too much on the contents of what they have reviewed and they do not focus on other contents? In my research, participants tested three formats to investigate my research questions. They are preview questions. Here in after, this is called P, which is circle in red. Non-preview questions with different preview questions. Here in after, this referred to as NPP, which is marked in blue. And no preview questions. Here in after, this is called NPA, marked in green circle. For research question one, I hypothesized that P format score higher than NPP and NPA format. This is because I suppose that previewing questions support EFL learners to understand listening contents. For research question two, I hypothesized NPA format achieved a higher score than and PP format because they concentrate too much on the contents of what they have reviewed and they do not focus on other contents. In some, I suppose P achieved the highest score followed by NPA and NPP scored the lowest. Next, move on to the method. The participants were 35 Japanese university undergraduate or graduate students majoring in various fields, such as intercultural studies, modern society, psychology, economics, and education. Their yes, fall level were A2, B1, B2, or C1. Materials I used in this research were selected from 18 grade 2 level workbook. 
This test consisted of three listening texts. Three passages were about 360 word lengths. The first passage was about a research which found that moving the eyes from side to side improves both recall and recognition memory. The second passage was about a study which revealed that people can tell if speakers are smiling or not, even without seeing their faces. The third passage was about a study that scientists discovered elephants are afraid of bees. We made six patterns to counterbalance three tests in case three passages difficulty level are different. Here is the table of six patterns which are counterbalanced. Participants were randomly assigned to six patterns. All techists had five multiple choices, so another one multiple choice question and four true false questions are added to come up with 10 items. Participants performed three test formats, so in total, they answered 30 questions. In this experiment, participants could listen to audio only once and they couldn't take note while listening to texts. They answered to all questions in 15 seconds. Participants also answered how confident they are in answers on a scale of three so that I can omit the answers that were answered correctly by chance. In P format, they could play view questions for one minute. Next, analysis. I analyzed that data by level of their self-confidence. As I explained before, participants answered their confidence of their answers on a scale of three. This is because I saw some participants will answer correctly by chance. Self-confident one is the lowest and it means they don't have confidence. Self-confidence two indicates that participants are pretty confident. Self-confidence three is the highest and it represents that they have strong confidence. I analyzed in three ways to increase the accuracy by eliminating answers that were clicked by chance. In analysis one, all answers were included, which is self-confident one, two, and three. In analysis two, answers which participant had confidence. In other words, self-confident two and three were used. In analysis three, only self-confident three, which answers that participant had strong confidence was used to analyze. Now I'll tell you what I found. The scores obtained from the test were put into a one-way ANOVA, which is analysis of variance. Here is the graph of self-confidence, one, two, and three. P on the left, and PP on the middle, and PA on the right. Table one shows the means and standard deviation for the listening comprehension scores of all answers. As shown in table one, the P format performed better than the other format. Moreover, NPA format did better than NPP format. As it is clear in table two, there was significant difference between P and NPP, while no significant difference was found among other formats. Next, to omit answers that learners answer correctly by chance, I analyzed the answers which learners had confidence. Here is the graph. Table three shows the means and standard deviation for the listening comprehension scores of answers which learners have confidence. As revealed in table three, the results confirm that P achieved the highest score followed by NPA and NPP scored the lowest. Table 4 also shows that there was significant difference among three formats. Finally, here is the graph of which participant has strong confidence. 
Table 5 shows the means and standard deviation for the listening comprehension scores of answers which learners have strong confidence. The results show that P achieved the highest score, followed by NPA and NPP scored the lowest as well as results of analysis too. Table 6 also shows that there was significant difference among three formats. In conclusion, P format achieved the highest score followed by NPA and NPP scored the lowest as I hypothesized when omitting answers which learners answered correctly by chance. So reviewing questions support participants to understand listening contents. And I also found that when they can preview some questions and some can't, Japanese EFL learners concentrate too much on the contents of what they have previewed and they do not focus on other contents. Moving forward, future research should explore larger sample size and examine differences by English level. Here are references. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.